just a normal day. I just said goodbye and then I loved him and I'd see him when I got home. This morning, we're hearing from the sister of Libby German. Exactly 10 months ago, Libby and Abby Williams disappeared and were then murdered in Delphi. Our Matt McCutcheon is here with how this case will be in the national spotlight. One more time here, really, as it hits a milestone and uh, just still so much pain from this tragedy in that community. It's hard to believe it's been nearly a year. We are 10 months now, this anniversary, exactly 10 months ago today. Now it will be featured on a national TV show, and we're learning this morning that 26 6,000 tips have come in from all across the country. While none have cracked the case, today's Dr. Phil show puts it in the national spotlight as they opened their home, including Libby's room, to the show. Everything has been left just the way that she left it. She had just painted her room. I didn't have time to help her, and she said I could do it, and she did. There's still the paint can from painting, her stocking from Christmas last year, still laying right where it was. This is a statue that Kelsey got her for Christmas one year. It's a sister statue. Those are her paintings. That's what her and Abby did. Abby would come over and bring all of her paints. This one they had started that night. It has been a tough 10 months for family and friends. Here's a look at what has developed since then. February 13th, remember, is when Libby and Abby went missing. Then on the 14th, their bodies were discovered there in Delphi on Valentine's Day near a hiking bridge. Then on February 15th, police released this sketch of the suspect in this case, a cell phone image the girls captured of that suspected killer. Then a week later came the audio recording of the killer with that phrase, down the hill, a recording from their cell phone. Then over the summer, on July 17th, police released a sketch here of this suspect with additional identifying information. Now, as we near Christmas, it will be the first for their families without their loved ones. I carry her book bag to school. I think Libby's with me every day. Uh, every morning I wake up, I walk down the hallway, and there's a picture of Libby. And I say good morning to her. And that gives me the motivation to stay on task here at and we will hear much more from the family, friends, and even the ladies from police investigators all in a special episode of the Dr. Phil Show that's going to appear today at 4 o'clock only on Channel 13. You mentioned all those tips, Matt. I mean, not just from Indiana, but nationally. So maybe there's something in this. Somebody will remember something that will lead police to the killer. And putting it in the spotlight today will really perhaps rejog memories, you know, 10 months into this investigation when it just really gripped that community, the state, and even the country. All right. We've all covered it for so yeah. long, hoping for a solution soon. Matt, thank you.